Okay, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, number five. All right, so we're looking for all relative extrema. So we're looking for local max and uh, local min, right? First, we have to find the critical numbers, All right? Let's do that. So we take the derivative of the function. So f prime of x is equal to, right? Derivative of x cubed is uh, 3x squared. And derivative of negative 5x squared would be negative 10x. Derivative of 7x is, would be 7. All right? Then uh, we try to uh, factor it out. So that would be, all right, so it's going to be 3x and x. So it's got uh, 7, so it's 1 on 7. It's probably 7 here and a 1 here. And sign's got to be negative. So negative 7 and a negative 1. I would not work. Uh, negative 7 times negative 1 gives you positive 7. Right? 3 times negative 1 is ne negative 3. And a negative th 7 times 1 is negative 7. So negative 3 plus negative 7 gives you negative 10. So, uh, so that's right. So this will give you two critical numbers. Right? So x is equal to uh, 7 over 3 from here, and also 1, right? So these are uh, critical numbers, right? All right, once find the critical numbers, uh, we want to uh, actually check to see if they give a local max, a local min, uh, but it says that we have to use a second derivative test, right? All right, second derivative test. So we need a second derivative. So f prime, a double prime of x is equal to, right, derivative of that is 6x, and derivative of that is negative 10, and derivative of 7 is 0. So we have that, All right? So we can plug in these critical numbers than to determine if it gives a local max or local min, All right? So let's do that. So we look at the second derivative at, the, uh, let's say, 7 over 3, All right? You have 7 over 3, All right? So if you plug it in, so you have a 6, and you have a 7 over 3 minus 10, Right, 6 and the 3 cancel out, then you have 2. So 2 times 7 is 14 minus 10, so it's uh, 4, right? But uh, all we care about is the sign. So we have, so it's a positive, right? Right, then you see that if the second derivative is positive, we're looking at uh, basically a concave up shape, right? which means that the uh, uh, critical number here is going to give you a local max, a local minimum, sorry. So this means that uh, f of 7 thirds, right, which we have to find. So let's say plug it in. Let's see. So we have uh, 7 thirds cubed minus 5 times uh, 7 thirds squared plus 7 times uh, 7 thirds. All right. Then we just have to compute that. So this is going to be, all right, so uh, I'm going to try to take the common denominator. So this is going to be, right, so 3 cubed, so that's 27. So 27, All right, then 7 cubed, uh, what's that? 7 times 7 is 49, and times 7 
uh, 63 and 4 times 28 so 34 right so this is 343 right minus right so you have uh, 7 squared so that's going to be 49 times 5 5 times 9 is 45 right 4 times 5 is 20 right 245 but on the bottom you have 3 squared only 9 so we have to multiply by 3 to get 27 so you have to multiply by 3 so 15 uh, 12 3 times 2 is 6 so 735 so 735 right then plus all right you have 7 times 7 so uh, 49 right but uh, you need to multiply by so th bottom is only 3 so we have to multiply by 9 right 9 times 9 is 81 and 4 times 9 is 36 so 44 right so it's a 4 41 right all right so it's a little let's see how, how do we do this so I'm gonna just add these two guys together all right so it's a uh, 3 343 plus 441 is 4, 8, and a 7, right? Then we have to subtract to 735, right? So 14 minus 5 will be 9, right? So 7 minus 3 is 4, right? So this gives you... Uh, 49 over uh, 27 All right so this is uh, again it's a uh, local a uh, local minimum All right so we have a local minimum all right then let's do the other one so if you look at the second derivative at uh, 1 right here so at 1 is equal to uh, 2 times oh, sorry not 2 uh, 6 times 1 minus 10 which is negative 4 which is negative right which means that the we're looking at the concave down shape and the critical number is up here so which means that we're going to have a local maximum and the value is uh, f of 1 right this one is easy to compute uh, 1 so it's going to be 1 minus 5 so negative 4 plus 7 so positive 3 so this is a uh, local maximum Right, so that's how you use the um, uh, second derivative test. So when second derivative is positive, then the critical number will give you the local minimum. When the second derivative is negative, then the uh, critical number will give you a local maximum. Right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.